we are live now so let me present my screen just give me a minute and uh, i will discuss the questions let me add the youtube link on the calendar and then i will start okay, okay so let me share my screen uh is my screen visible now anybody can confirm yes sir okay so let me go to the mock for in term okay so these are the some values which uh, we have given i mean we have to use if it's required so question says first question is comprehension question it says uh, consider 100 iid samples x1 x2 x100 which are normal with mean mu and one so since it's uh, hello sir here inform yeah yes sorry sir sorry for interrupting but sir i want to ask uh, that will you be uploading the pdf of this uh solution pdf right yeah 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 we'll upload at the uh, once session will end we'll have to okay load thanks it. a lot thanks a lot. yeah yeah so okay so okay tell me in which scenario we can use the normal distribution to test the average and all when you know the variance when i know the variance as you can see that criteria is fulfilled right it's a mu but variance is given to us correct yes or no i mean yes, here it's directly given our uh, iid samples are from normal but suppose in scenario there is it's not mentioned it's from normal then in that scenario you have to identify whether variance is given to us or no now uh, we are given the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis so null hypothesis is it says mu is equal to zero alternate say it should be uh, it's greater than zero test statistics also given to us as a sample mean and uh, also test is uh, we have to given a means uh, test means uh, we will reject h not if t is greater than some constancy i mean that critical value so we have to find out the what is the probability of type one error so basically what uh, what is the meaning of probability type one error is the size of the test size of the test calculate so first question says uh, okay h not is given to us mu equal to zero and uh, alternative is given to us mu is greater than zero right now and what are the information it says x1 x2 up to x100 these all are iid samples from uh, normal with mean mu and variance is known to us okay tell me if test statistic is t equal to x bar before going to compute that uh, alpha and all what will be the distribution of x bar x bar will be normal mu comma so sigma is square by n correct one by hundred. Sigma is one. It's the one by n. So far so good, right? Here yes. n is hundred, so I will take as hundred. Correct? True or not? Yes, sir. Yeah. Correct. Now, so what is the meaning of this? Whether it's a uh, which kind of test uh, is this? this right is? tail test. Right tail. Right tail test. Right. Now I think. Uh, you are much familiar when uh, to identify the side of the test, right? So question number one says we have to find out the probability of type one error, and which uh, we are denoting as alpha, okay, size. So what is the probability of type one error? It's nothing but I will reject my H naught if H naught is true. Correct. That's the case. So when I will reject H naught, when my T is greater than some C, some constant C. And H naught is what mu equal to zero. And what is the t? T is nothing but x bar greater than c mu equal to zero. So what's the next step? We have to convert this no, into. Uh, we have to normalize it. Normalize it, right? And I know the uh, distribution of x bar is uh, normal with mean mu and variance is one by hundred. So next step will be it will be uh, x bar minus mu. So mu is what? Uh, let's write it as mu here itself. And the square root of one by hundred because we have to do a standard deviation. C minus mu divided by square root of one by hundred. Correct or not? Given that mu equal to zero. If I will put mu as zero, then okay. So this term will be g g greater than c divided by square root of one by hundred. Correct? 
any doubt so far no sir no sir so this will be probability g greater than uh, 10, 10 times c. c 10 c correct so if the, if, see to uh, to convert into capital f i mean cdf format we have to do as uh, probability g less than so for that i can do 1 minus probability g less or equal to 10 c correct or not yes sir so yes. this is so i can write down uh, 1 minus fg 10 times c that's all right i think there should be some option uh, yeah option b is the correct okay how many of you got this one as a correct So we have raised hands. Okay, okay. I can see some 15 of you have uh, got the correct 16, 17. Okay, great, great. I mean, if there will be question related to this, we, you will be able to solve it, I'm hoping. Okay. So next is, what is the probability of type 2 error uh, if uh, alternative is mu equal to 1? Correct. I think it's the same, same, same calculator, right? I mean, calculation is uh, just one minor change. We have to replace one minus yeah. one minus x. Yeah. So, what is the type two error? Type two error is nothing but I can represent as beta, correct? And what is this? This is nothing but probability of accepting the null hypothesis given that H is true or alternate is true. I, yeah. And in the last session, I, I have told you another terminology for this. What is that for beta? Power Anyone? Consumers. Correct, correct. Not, not that. Consumers uh, risk. Okay. I mean, that's not included in the course, but I told you just for yeah, yeah. some exploration. Okay. What about alpha? Producers, Producers risk, right? Producers risk. Producers risk. I think you are now able to relate it, right? Yes, correct. Sir. Yeah. So now, what is okay? I'm going to reject my null, uh, 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 null hypothesis when x bar is greater than c. Then when I will accept it? When less than x bar less. will be less or equal to c. Correct? Given that h is true and h is given to us, I think mu equal to 1 if I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, mu equal to 1. Now, so as usual, uh, we have to convert into standard normal. So it will be x bar minus mu divided by 1 by 10. Correct? Less or equal to c minus mu divided by 1 by 10, given that mu equal to 1. So, what we have to do? We have to just uh, put the value of uh, yeah. mu. It will be g less or equal to c minus 1 divided by 1 by t, uh, 10. So, it will be probability of uh, g less or equal to 10 c minus 1, right? So, I think uh, it will be directly fg of 10 times c minus 1. C minus 1. Uh, is there any option? Yeah, so D option is the correct. Okay. Again, I'm hoping maximum of you got the correct. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, majority is got the correct answer. Okay, so that's great. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, let's move ahead to the next question. Okay, so far, so good. Any doubt uh, so far in these two? No, sir. Okay, so next question says uh, we have information like uh, our random variable is uniformly distributed over the interval minus a to a. So it's a continuous or discrete? Continuous. Continuous. continuous right? And we have to find the value of a, or it says for what value of a, probability of x less than half will be 0.7. Okay, what should be the, our approach? Anyone? CDF, you can use the CDF. We can directly use the CDF. The CDF. There is two yes, approach. Sir. We can use the both one. Integrator, you can get that. Correct, correct, correct. So, question uh, we have information x is uniformly distributed over the range minus a to a, and uh, a is something greater than 0. So, before uh, we have to find the value of a for what probability of x is less than half equal to 0. 0.7. So there are two approaches. One is, okay, if you, suppose I'm saying if x is following uniform a comma b, then what will be the f of x or probability x, x less than minus a by x minus a by x b minus a b, x minus, uh, a by b minus a b minus a. Since it's a correct, it's a continuous, then equality sign doesn't matter, right? Yeah? 
then can i yes, write these things as f of half yes or no yes sir if it's f of half then can i apply the direct td formula so it will be half minus a a means lower limit so here lower limit is minus of a correct divide by b uh, so uh, at the place of b we have a so it will be uh, a minus minus a got it or not yes got it sir okay yes sir so numerator part will be half plus a and it will, it will be 0.7 times 2a correct because it will be 2a uh, let me write down the steps okay so from here it will be half plus a equal to 0.7 times 2a which is uh, nothing but uh, 1.4 times a correct so it will yes, be uh, next it will be what we can do we can do half equal to 1.4 a minus a okay which is 0.4 a 0.4 a right and half means what 0.5 correct 0.5 so that means what it will be a equal to 0.5 divided by 0.4 which is nothing but 5 by 4 which is 1.25 got it so let yes. me see the yeah 1.25 is the answer is this clear to uh, uh, everybody or in route yes sir yeah. another approach is it's a simple we know it's the uniform distribution then what we can do we can just uh, or we can do just it's to see we have probability x less than half equal to 0.7 right so what we can do we can just integrate the same thing uh, since yeah, x is minus a to a right so yeah, we yeah. have to integrate minus a to huh. half and half. what will be the pdl it will be 2a 1 correct? by 2a 1 by 2 uh, dx equal to 0.7 right that's all yeah i mean even though I, so I, same I equation you, you'll get. yeah you will get you will get the same thing from here right huh. so i was just saying if you, if you don't uh, remember the formula of uniform even though we will provide but uh, just another approach i mean okay another form okay so i'm not going to solve this because at the end we will get the the same equation okay so let's move to the okay so, so far so any doubt in yeah in this part uh, this uh, integration part hmm? uh, we will be integrating from minus a to zero right and then Why? from zero to a no we see here we are saying x, x upper limit of x should be half that's all Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Got it? Uh, because we are so, interested. Yeah. So, uh, but sir, minus a is in, uh, beyond zero. So I think it will be minus a to zero and then zero to one by two. I no, think. no, that's not a case. See, it's a simply uniform. Okay. Suppose it's uh, suppose I'm saying minus a and a. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Suppose some what I I want this is half. Suppose just assume me, and I I want to know what is the probability till this point. Okay. So what I will do, I will do, I will uh, integrate from minus a to half. That's all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, not question five. It's a question number four. Okay. So this so, x minus a uh, by b minus a, this will be given, right? Uh, I think so. I need to cross check again. But uh, as, uh, as I can remember, we are providing. Uh, every kind of distribution along with their pmf pdf expected value variance uh, anyone from the last term can confirm or who knows because I yes sir, it will so. be provided yes sir it's, it's given yeah it's given right? I, I, I was on. yeah so it will be given but i am uh, surely uh, i mean i can confirm uh, all the distribution will be given with expected value with variance with cdf along with all the inequality means markov chebyshev uh, that uh, central limit theorem and the method of likelihood and all but uh, just we you have to apply your concept like that okay so let's move to the question number four i think it's a simple one right so we have two random variables and both of have range one and two okay so it's a discrete or continuous first of all discrete, discrete. it's a discrete right so following formula gives the pmf uh, probability x equal to i 
and y equal to j equal to i plus j divided by k and k is unknown. We don't know the value of k. So we have to find out the value of probability that. Okay, so let me, okay. So we have two random variables. So for x, I uh, have range 1 comma 2. Y have also range uh, 1 comma 2. These two are discrete and uh, we have given the PMF, joint PMF as uh, i plus j divided by k and k is unknown to us. So, and uh, we have to find out the probability. One is uh, less or equal to x is less or equal to 2 and y is also right. Or it's less or, or no, only less than. Y is less than, okay. Not less or equal to. Please correct me if uh, making, okay. So this quantity we have to find out, correct? Now, so uh, what should be the first uh, step? We have to calculate for the key yeah. value. Yeah, so what uh, it's a good approach to make the joint PMF table, okay? So possible values of x and uh, x is x are one and two. This is x. This is y. And for y also, it's the one and two, correct? So if I will put value one and one, I will get two by k, correct? And if I will put one and two, I will get three by uh, k. Three by k, then. Again, 3 by k, 4 by k. That's a joint PMF table. Okay, so since we are asking what we have to compute this probability, correct? Before going to that, we need to find out the value of k. Yes or no? Yes, because sir. I don't know value of k. So uh, what is the correct approach to find out the value of k? Sum all these sir, the sum of the table values would be 1. 1. Sum of all the probability should be 1. Okay. Sum of all the probabilities should be equal to 1. So that means, so 2 by k plus 3 by k plus 3 by k plus 4 by k should be equal to 1. So that means uh, 12 by k equal to 1. Right, sir. So k, me, k uh, I got as a 12. Okay. Now, question says, uh, we have to, yeah, someone has said something. So we have to find out the x should be one uh, less or equal to one. X should lie this is uh, one and two, but y should be less or equal to two. Okay. So what are the values? Lower row, like the second. So y would be two, two constant. Only two only. Two only. Two only. Two x would be varying. Okay. Basically, what we can uh, can I write these things as x equal to one, y equal to two, or x equal to two, y equal to two? Yes, yes or no? Everyone would agree with me? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what is the value? X equal to 1, y equal to 2, 3 by k. X equal to 2, y equal to 2, 4 by k, right? So that means it's a 3 by k plus 4 by k. It's a 7 by k. And we have the value of k as 12. So it's a 7 by 12, right? So let me check the answer. Yeah. So 7 by 12 is the Any doubt in this question? No, it's clear, it's clear for yes. Sahala has raised and yes, please do you any query? No, sir, by mistake. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. So let's move to the question five. Okay, so it says the standard method of screening for a disease fails to detect the presence of the disease in 15 percent of the. Uh, patient. If it's a uh, fails to detect the presence, then what is the probability for you know? Uh, got the that whether it's a uh, I mean, failed yeah. uh, once again. Fails to detect the presence of the disease. Okay, and what if, what will the opposite probability? Point eight point, five. Point eight five. Eight five, right? Now, I think uh, from where you will get some idea, some sort of to determine if the new drug of Screening is superior. Okay. Suppose that 75 people with the disease are chosen at random and is screened using the new method. The new method failed to detect the presence of the disease in six of the patient. Okay. Tell me one uh, one thing here. What we what what is your uh, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis? Sir, the null would be p equals 0.15. And the, it has to be superior, point. so that okay. means it has to be less than. Yeah. 
okay so this this is clear why we are taking less than and why okay it's another hypothesis is clear right we are taking see, we are making the hypothesis in terms of population parameter okay? which is p is equal to i am taking 0.15 yes or no and that p will should be less than 0.15 because uh, we have to determine the whether the new method of screening is superior or not correct so option c should be correct any doubt in this question no sir yes no okay it's clear right i'm asking is, is it okay yes. or in doubt okay yes, now tell me one thing uh if it's a c uh, let me write down the thing that will be clear for you so question 5 is uh, directly it's uh, h not is nothing but p is equal to 0.5 and alternative will be p less than not 0.5 0.15 correct now come to the question number 6 what question number 6 says uh, we have to find out the p value of the test okay so what is the p value before going to solve it anyone can tell me what is the p value the, so the minimum significance level where we are going to reject our null hypothesis our null hypothesis right so it's a simply nothing but probability of rejecting null when null is true right yes so, sir uh, P value. The C value should be substituted with the test statistic value. Reject H not. Yeah? H not is true. Okay. Well, okay. So when I will reject H not here? See. When C. T is less C. than C. T. Okay. Before going to that, tell me there are seventy five seventy five people with the digits are chosen at random. That means okay. Let's uh, convert into the form of. Okay. So suppose I am I have chosen ith person. Ith people, so there will be only two cases, right? For that, whether it will be detected or it it will not be detected, correct? Yes, a Bernoulli situation. It's a Bernoulli situation. See, suppose I have chosen Ith person, okay? So that Ith person, uh, whether it will be detected, uh, the presence of disease, disease uh, or not, correct? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. So let's yes, make sir. it as one. Let's make it as zero. That means it's a Bernoulli, correct? So if it's a Bernoulli, yes. if I'm going to uh, consider the total people, that means uh, x1 plus x2 plus up to x75, it will be bin binomial or not? Yes, sir. It will be 75 comma some p. Half p. Okay. Now. Can you tell me if it's a binomial, then what will be the distribution of x bar? Seventy-five p and n p seventy-five p into one minus p. It will be if I am taking as uh, so. Can I take it as a normal? If I will approximate yeah. since random sample is large, then it will be seventy-five comma seventy-five. Uh, okay. No, not seventy-five. It will be p into p. one minus p divided by seventy-five. Yes, sir. And the mean will just be p. If I p, it's a p. Correct. P. Ha. It is clear. This one is okay no, for sir. everyone, or any doubt? Please. Sorry. It will not be seventy-five. Yes, sir. It is clear, or any doubt at this point? Please repeat the last part. So you are taking the proportion, isn't it? I mean the proportion logic here is yeah, we, we, we can go the, we can go see see we can go with the proportion uh, also we can go with the this binomial also no problem let me okay okay let me clarify with you okay let me clarify let me take the, uh, with the let me go with the this binomial with suppose i am taking x bar so this means x1 plus x2 plus till x75 divided by 75 yes or no that is the meaning yes sir Ha, oh, okay, sir. Got it. Sir. Got it, sir. So it's uh, so it's seventy-five p by seventy-five. So it's p. Yeah, clear. Correct. So if if I will take expected value of x bar, that means it will be expected value of x one plus up to x seventy-five divided by seventy-five. So and I know what is the expected value of x one plus up to expected value of x seventy-five. Seventy-five p by seventy-five. Yeah, here we have given the expected value of x one right from the population p is given to us right point one five. 
yes or no yes sir yes sir so it will be 0.75 into 0.15 0.15 divided by 0.75 it will get as 0.15 that's i have written right yes. see the so same 75 why 0.75 yeah 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 that's a typo here so uh, here okay the, the same thing i have written right here correct it's a p it will be 0.15 right yes sir are you getting these things uh, you can do directly with the proportion also that's not a problem but uh, you can do with this approach also this is a long one but i am trying to uh, prove here what is the algorithm behind even though in the case of proportion the same approach is there because what is the meaning of proportion we are saying some number of people are possessing some attribute or they are of one kind kind of things right yes, are you sir. getting my point or uh, it's uh, some making you are getting confusion is it okay right no we got it sir yes okay. sir what yes, about sir. variance of x bar sigma square yes, sir. this for square so variance of x1 up to x75 divided by 75 right 75, so it will be yeah. 1 by 75 square yeah. and yeah. since all are id then it will be variance of x1 plus x1 variance of x75 right So can I write seventy-five uh, times variance of x divided yes. by seventy-five is square? Yes, sir. So yes. this will get cancelled, and I will get variance of x, which is p into one minus p. P into one minus p. Right. So uh, one second, one second. Yeah, p into one by one minus p because it's a bin uh, Bernoulli. So it's, it will be here. Uh, Uh, p into one minus p that means point one five into point eight five divided by seventy five right the same thing I have written in general now this is clear is this clear yes sir okay. yes sir okay so we got distribution of x bar as uh, normal which is point one five and point one five point eight five divided by seventy five now what is the c critical value anyone how how i will choose the new method will fail to detect the presence of dg in the six of the patient what is the probability for that 6 so by 75 so it so will be let me denote as uh, p1 or let's say it's a c, it's a c anyway right so c will be 6 by 75 which is uh, let me calculate 0.08 0.08 Okay. Now I think uh, we have all the values, correct? So yes, sir. Basically, uh, what is the p value? P value is the probability of six by seventy-five. Rejecting H not one second uh, when H not is two. So six. Okay. So in the question, it's given that the new method will fail to detect the presence of disease in the six of the patient. So we have chosen seventy-five out of seventy-five. six of uh, i mean the new method uh, failed to detect the presence of the disease so pro, uh, proportion will be uh, 6 by 75 got it the sample okay. right sir yeah it's a sample okay. that's the critical value okay so here uh, it's a, see i think uh, there one you can say it's a mistake not a mistake actually i have directly written the value of p here but it should be in general okay because we are going to use the value of p probability of rejecting h not when h not h not is 2 for it i mean and for h not is p equal to 0.15 so just uh, take care of it it it, it should be in general uh, x bar should be normal p comma p into 1 minus p divided by n so if i will use the under h not uh, p is equal to 0.15 so it will be this one okay is this clear right uh, okay Yes, sir. It's clear. Okay. Just uh, make sure that that should be correct. Okay. So it's uh, in general, it will be this one. Uh, you can verify here because uh, we have written this one. So variance of x x i in general, it's a p into one minus p. So here we have given our null hypothesis as p h point one five one uh, one minus p will be okay as point eight five. It's a given in as h not. Okay. So just make sure. Now. When I will reject my H not, as per the uh, alternative hypothesis, X bar should be greater than C. 
less than less than c less than sir i just i was just cross checking with you okay so what is the next step i have to convert okay so this c is 0.08 given that p is equal to 0.15 so i have to convert in standard normal it will be x bar minus p right divide by square root of p into 1 minus p divide by n less than 0.08 minus p square root of p into 1 minus p uh, divide by n correct or not given that p is equal to 0.15 so uh, this term will be g if i will put the 0.15 and i here i will get 0.08 minus 0.15 divide by square root of 0.15 into 0.85 divided by 75 the same thing i have uh, written here directly by putting the value of p okay so what is the value of this thing so uh, let me calculate it 0 0.08 1.65 uh, sorry how much minus um, i mean like the whole value what minus 1.69 minus 1.69 yeah. okay i'm assuming it's Stop. correct Okay, so Karthik asking for week-wise breakup of questions. Any idea? So you can check the discourse I have uh, posted there. I think a week before, right? If I'm not wrong. So we need to check the value of FG uh, minus one point six nine. So let me check that one. Sir, so it's a uh, point zero four double five one. Double five one, right? Point zero four. So point zero four should be the answer. Yeah, so point zero four is the inside the range, right? So it will be point zero four. Okay, is this clear? This is the answer actually. Or any doubt? No, sir, it's clear. Clear yes, for sir, everyone. We are we are doing yeah? uh, we are we are taking samples, right? We are working on the samples uh, without. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, the population, uh, regarding the population, we have uh, the information. Yeah, yeah. Okay, population we, have, information. we have only information about population parameter that suppose uh, you are going to apply that method, right? And uh, you are saying uh, uh, your method will uh, fail to detect the presence of the disease in 15% of the patient. So you are making hypothesis like uh, that pro uh, probability p that proportion will be 0.15 you are making hypothesis okay so that's the information and i'm going to check whether that's a correct or not are you getting so suppose you had uh, given that hypothesis and i took the sample of 75 people and uh, with the disease uh, I'm, i i took i uh, chosen at random and screened you uh, by using the new method i mean your method whatever so now I'm saying I have given one critical value which says the new method will fail to detect the presence of disease in the sixth of the patient. Correct? Now, what is the p value? I have to compute the p value. So, p value is nothing but it's the lowest significance when I'm going to reject my null hypothesis. Are you getting my question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Clear or so any doubt? We have the population uh, yeah. uh, mean, and then from there uh, with the sample. Okay, we it's just not okay. It's not directly it. population mean. Here we have taken because p is given to us 0.15 because we are making the hypothesis in general in general for population parameter. See, if you are making sta any statement, if you are making any kind of hypothesis, so hypothesis is basically you are making the for which. Uh, the things which he, which uh, which are unknown to us right i mean we can't make the hypothesis of uh, about something which which uh, we are knowing already correct so this hypothesis is nothing but we are saying p is equal to 0.15 yeah okay yes, thank you. yeah just a minute
yeah so is that clear or in doubt clear clear okay yeah yeah the layout please go ahead uh, yes sir i have a doubt in this particular question like uh, when p uh, when something mm -hmm. like uh, p is come like i am i am uh, good in dealing with the other things like when p is come like we have to consider by bin, bin, uh, binomial i am confusing with this factor like right? when we say x bar mm -hmm. so what is x bar here uh, x bar is the sample mean yeah sir x bar is the sample mean right mm -hmm. so uh, what is uh, it is p into uh, sir uh, this is my question sir uh, we have taken bernoulli right so uh -huh. why it might be like 75 p and then divided by 75 i have do did some other uh, some other method uh, like okay. i have taken np 75 p equals to mean then mm -hmm. make x bar equals to not uh, just a uh, probability but taken as a number of like it's uh, here it is 6 right 6 okay. out of 75 uh, i am not in point 0.08 of x mm -hmm. bar but i have taken it as 6 no no okay. you are saying x1 plus x uh, plus x6 yeah yeah no no that is not you a know, case x bar equals to x bar equals to 6 just not point not 6 no, by x 7 bar, x bar is okay how how x bar should be uh, 6 yeah it's given 6 right no it says okay so it's not x bar see x bar x bar is what we are going to take the sample mean right yeah. it says it's a number okay suppose i'm making one uh, thing like suppose i'm saying x is denoting some something like that let's say i'm defining random variable x is the number of uh, people okay yeah. uh, who has that dig is something like that okay okay yes. then what will be my p p will be x by n yeah yeah x by n proportion x is what it says six people yeah, six out of how uh, 75 right? okay, okay, okay. that's not x bar okay okay, okay, okay. got it yeah yeah okay. basically see uh p now we have taken uh for x yeah bar here, here it's a c e. basically it's because it's given that if you are talking about e critical value so it's a c yes, okay. E okay i think uh in week 11 or something i have i have or if in uh, if i'm not wrong in week 11 solve with us i took that P and uh, with the binomial also. Yeah, yeah. Anyone can remember that one, right? So you can go through it. I have uh, I, I I derived the whole things uh, why we are taking that proportion. I mean, in in uh, in both way you will get the same answer. Yeah, not sometimes a sometimes we take x bar as a number of x bar. So there is a also question in the mm -hmm. maybe solve with us maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. that, we have taken uh, that's the uh, doubt in it maybe i can post in discussion form mm -hmm. uh, it, it's like uh, uh, we have taken sometimes x bar equals to number of samples but sometimes we take averages uh, no 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 x, x bar should not be number of samples uh, i think uh, i got your point where you, you are talking uh, talking about it's something uh, let me go there for a second okay it's a uh, it's a week 11 question week 11 yeah i, I got your point uh, on that day i have derived the both things actually okay. i remember hello sir uh, yeah? yeah sir actually one general question in between hmm. sir actually uh, in the week 10 there are uh, formulas like posterior mean for bernoulli and uh, by uh, binomial and normal so sir should we need to remember them or we need to drive uh, derive the whole formula in the exam or we will be provided with the this the formula no, no, no. The formula only, for posterior mean. No, no. Formula for posterior mean will be provided only for normal distribution. That's all. Not for others. Every distribution will be given to you, PDF and all. But you have to uh, do whole procedure. When then you have to identify. Okay. We need to derive the whole formula. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. This I is think, okay. Thank uh, you. Uh, yes, you are talking about this one, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This one. Yeah, you will get the same answer. Either you will do 100p, 100p, 1 minus p, correct? Yeah, yeah. See, here, t is taking 100 uh, binomial 100, comma p. I took the x bar, there is not a problem. Okay, okay. okay I think uh, I have derived with a uh, different method, correct or not? Yes, sir. Uh, because I think, yes, sir. Huh? Yeah, uh, here you can see. It's a binomial np np one minus p. Again, you can if you if you will take x bar, it will be p equal to uh, sorry p comma p one minus p divided by n, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. 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 You, you I, I, I do confusion. I, I taken like we had we have given samples. Hmm? I take it as uh, like you have taken T is proportion T is approximately equal to normal hundred P hundred P into one minus P. I take this Correct. as samples of uh, like let's say we have given Bernoulli hundred Bernoullis and P is the uh, like P and uh, we have taken hundred samples and hmm? I approximately equals to like if. Uh, let's see another case. We have given samples. A, if it is be given us standard deviation is already given. But here in this case, it's a Bernoulli's. We have taken the uh, we have uh, considered it as a binomial and approximately normal, right? Then we will take yeah. hundred p. So how we can say uh, this is uh, this is t, right? This is not the sample. That's why I because when we do t for t, we need x one. Then we divide it by hundred. I sometimes here divided by again hundred, then make a variance equal to p into one minus p. There, no, I, 100 okay in the in the question you can see they have taken 100 samples yeah yeah okay no, I, I basically think, case I, statistics is nothing but your function of sample values right and here if you see in the i think uh question is of same kind you can say here suppose that 100 people who are suffering with the nervous tension are chosen at random so they have taken uh sample of 100 people and they are making uh, they are i mean applying uh, that drug or uh, whether they are taking whether it's relieving for nervous tension or not correct okay. the same so thing is x1 plus x100 till x100 yes yeah till x100 uh, yeah you yeah. can do not like that. Or you can bad. make it you can make it t is equal to x bar not problem okay but it's good to go with the x bar you will get the uh, answer okay? Okay, okay no problem okay i, I got it yeah? sir I, I just solved this problem yeah, you can rewatch that lecture or that will help you because uh, I think uh, if I'm not wrong, I, I had solved with the different methods. Okay, okay. So okay. I will see. Let, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, let me. Sir, this, excuse me, sir. Yes. So, this method, what is saying if you take 6 minus 15, you won't get the answer, sir, because that is given out of 75 people. So, he has to say take 6 by 75 into 100, then only he'll actually get the correct value. So if he directly uh, takes okay. six. Okay, he directly okay. took the six. Okay, okay. okay six. Sir. Uh, yeah. Sir, I did it uh, like the test that uh, there is P of uh, P value is equal to probability of T less than six given mm -hmm. P is equal to 0.15. And I took T, uh, T as X, some of the some X1 plus X2 and so on up to X75. Uh, huh. And then accordingly, I found E of T and variance of T. Hey, correct. And do you got the correct answer? I got the correct answer. Why? So, why? I, I will tell you. What, what I have to, uh, taken here, I have taken probability x bar is less than c. And you have mm -hmm. taken t is less than 6. So you six, are considering yeah. the uh, number of people, right? And yeah, I am yes. considering the proportion, which is the same correct. thing. Right? Correct, correct. So there is not a problem. You will get the same answer, okay? Okay, fine. Yes. Yeah. The answer I got is right. Yes. Take as observed value. Yes. So. so yeah, is this clear or any doubt or is clear for everyone? Instead of that uh, proportion, we can directly use six, as she yeah, said. Just yeah, yeah. See, I told you you can do with anyone, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me erase this thing. Okay, tell me whether you will reject your null hypothesis or not. For the next question, reject. Sir, it depends on the size I of the test. I mean, if it is less than the thing. If if it's it's in the p value, okay. then we would accept. Okay, it's a five percent size. Yeah, so we'll reject it. Oh, so reject. Why? Sir. Reject as more than four. So it's more greater than, than the p value, sir. Yeah. It's greater than p value it and is a, yeah, it's greater than p value. Uh, zero point zero eight is great, uh, greater than zero point zero four. So I will reject the null hypothesis because uh, that uh, alpha, uh, I mean that level of significance is greater than this, and p value is nothing but the lowest significance value, right? If I'm able to reject at 0 0.04, that is so obvious. I will reject my null hypothesis at 0 0.05. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Yes. So, uh, it's, uh, uh, correct answer is uh, we are going. I think if it's if this concept is clear, then you will get some marks. <laughs> okay. So let's move to the next question. So question number eight. Okay. So it says uh, we have given the discrete random variable with following PMF minus 2 minus 1 0 1. So P by 2, P by 2, 1 minus P by 2, 1 minus P by 2. These are the respective probabilities 
Yes, or all the values. Uh, now, uh, it says that P is uh, between 0 and 1. And we have given some samples, some five samples, minus 1, 0, 1, and 1, and minus 2 from this uh, in, uh, discrete random variable P. So we have to uh, find the Explain method of estimate of P, uh, P using the method of moment and estimate of P using the maximum likelihood. I'm hoping you are familiar, much familiar with this kind of questions. So we have given minus two, minus one. We have given the information minus two, minus one. This is the x, zero, one, and two. Uh, not two till only one. Okay. So it's a. What are the probabilities? It's a p by two. P by two, and uh, one minus p by two, and another is one minus p by two. Okay. Now, what are the samples? Sample is minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, one, zero, one, one minus 2. Now, we have to apply the method of moment. So, tell me, this is one parameter family. And this is distribution yeah. of one parameter family, right? So M1. OK, so we have to use, we have to Plus do M1. M1 should be equal to expected value of x. Yes. Right? But yes. I don't know expected value of x here, right? It's not given. Suppose it's something, some kind of distribution, then I can directly find out the expected value of x. But here I have to find the expected value of x. What is this? It will be summation of x of into x. px. Summation of x. So that means minus 2 into p by 2 minus p by 2 plus 0 into 1 minus. That will be 0 actually plus 1 minus p by 2. So far so good. Yes, no? Yes, sir. Correct, sir. Yes, yes. So it will be minus 3p by 2 plus half minus p by 2. So it will be uh, half minus 2p. Minus 2p. Half minus, minus 4p by 2, that means half minus 2p. Minus so this is the expected value of x. Correct? Now, tell me one thing. What is the m1? m1 is for samples, right? 1 upon n summation of xi, correct? So what are the samples? Uh, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, minus 2. So minus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 minus 2 divided by 5. So it will be uh, minus 1 by 5. Yes, sir. Correct? Sir, uh, one what? minute. Uh, yes. In uh, expected value, we have uh, two samples, right? Uh, two times 1 we have, right? So two times we have to do 1 into 1 minus p. Isn't it? Like, no, right. no, it's not about samples. Uh, okay. So from the samples, oh, okay, okay. we have to compute the M1 expected value of x. We have to compute from the random variable, which is the your distribution information. Okay, okay. I got it. Made a mistake. Okay. Yeah. Now, see this M1, this minus one one we have we have used from where itself. Okay. So. Next step is we have to equate m1 equal to expected value of x. That will be what is the m1 minus 1 by 5 equal to half minus 2p. So it will be 2p equal to half plus 1 by 5. Yes or no? So it will be 2p equal to uh, it will be 7 by 5, 10. Uh, 7 by 10. And uh, p equal to it will be 7 by 20. Right? So it will be 0 yes, 0.35. 0.35. So we got the estimate of P as 0 0.35, right? Uh, let me see the answer at 0 0.35. Everyone got the correct answer? Yes, or is yes. it clear? Is it clear to yes, everyone? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Then if you are okay with this kind of question, then you will get marks. I'm talking about in terms of random exam, okay? So next question is we have to do with the maximum likelihood estimate what is the maximum likelihood estimate basically before that it's the likelihood multiplication of every uh, product of uh, all the pmf or pdf right for uh, individual value so these were the information about uh, your uh, it was p by 2 p by 2 1 minus p by 2 and it was 1 minus p by 2 okay now what are the samples uh, minus 1 0 1 1 minus 2 right let me recheck yes so likelihood uh, is what we have to 
product i is equal to 1 to 5 all the pdfs right or sorry it's a pmf okay so what what is the probability for minus 1 it's a p by 2 correct or not yes, sir. and what is the probability for this sample 0 1 minus p by 2 yes sir for 1 1 minus p by 2 yeah again minus 1 minus p by 2 p by 2 p by 3 and for 2 my uh, sorry minus 2 it's a p by 2 this is okay for everyone yes sir. we yes, got sir. p cube divided by uh if p cube into 1 minus s p whole square power, uh, sorry p square 1 minus p cube divided by 2 raised power 5 correct yes sir. so this is the yes, so next step is what since we have to uh, maximize the likelihood so take it's the uh, same as if we will maximize the log likelihood right so let's take yes. the log of this function so it will be log of l make sure it's a natural logarithmic so it will be log of p square plus log of uh, 1 minus p whole cube minus log of 2 raised to power 5 right so next step it, it will be 2 uh, log p plus 3 log of 1 minus p minus 5 log 2 yes or no yes sir so what is the next step we have to differentiate, differentiate. with respect to p so it will be 2 by p plus 3 by 1 minus p minus 1 and uh, since it's constant it will be 0 and we have to equate it equal to 0 so it will be 2 by p minus 3 upon 1 minus p equal to 0 so it will be 2 by p equal to 3 uh, by 1 minus p so it will be 2 minus 2p equal to 3p and now it will be uh, 5p equal to 2 and p cap will be 2 by 5 which is 0. 0.4 correct so yes, with sir. the help of maximum likelihood uh, we got uh, 0. 0.4 and method of movement it was 0. 0.35 right okay yes, let me check the answer whether it's uh, correct or it's not correct, so 0. 0.4 is, yeah correct so it's clear so far any doubt no sir so next no? question no, sir. Oh, next question you doubt what is the next question let me see a company has installed two machines a and b to fill the oil in the bottles okay a standard deviation of the amount of oil from machines a and b are 0. 0.6 and 0. 0.5 liters uh, respectively let me write down the things so question number 10 is standard deviation for machine a was 0. 0.6 0. 0.6 and for machine B, it's a point. Point five. Five. Right? This is the information given to us. Uh, the company manager suspects that the average amount filled by the two machines in a diff, uh, in a bottle is different. Okay. So he took n samples from machine A and found the average amount to be one point five liters. So he took n samples from A and average amount is one point. 2 liters right and a sample of 50 bottles from b uh, results in average amount of 1.6 bottles and p value of test is 0 0.01 what is the value of n okay so he took uh, 50 samples from uh, for the machine b and he got the average amount as 1.6 liter okay it's a clearly two sample test right yes sir. yes sir and what is the p value p value is given to us 0 0.01 0 0.4 0 0.01 right yeah okay so yeah, tell me yeah, yeah. What, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's a two sample g test first of all yes okay because uh, we have given some information about and tell me what is the null hypothesis let's say new one equals new equal to mu2 yeah, I have taken mu a equal to mu b, right? For machine and for what will be the alternative? No, it's not a when they are not equal, right? And it's that that means a two tail test. Yes, sir. Z test. Uh, if it's two tail uh, G test, what will be my test? First of all, x bar minus x bar. I will record x not if mod of x bar minus y bar should be greater than some c, right? 
no so far uh, so good no so we have to find out the value of n so what we can do how should we proceed we have given p value we have given p value right from yes, there sir. we can proceed tell me if x bar okay what will be the distribution of x bar it will be normal new one minus new two new a I'm new talking about only x bar. Six, oh, okay, yeah. okay, only x bar. So it will be mu a point, point six square yes. by n, and you know, no, by yeah, n. Yeah, 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 six by square by n. Correct. It's it, uh, it's about x bar. Well, it's a mu comma sigma square by n, right? Yeah. What about y bar? It's normal. Mu b mu b point five square by square by fifty. Fifty, yeah. Yes, 50. and I mean it's given to us. If it this this thing, what will the distribution of x bar minus y bar? Because we are interested to find out that it will be it will be mu a minus mu b point six square by n plus point five square by divided by fifty. Yeah. So far so good. Any doubt? No. No. Sir. Yeah. Yes. X. Why are we calculating this x bar minus y bar? Why? Can you repeat? I did not uh, hear. Uh, get Can point. you just repeat this part after that reject? This one. Okay. Tell me what will be the if I am saying x is normal with mean mu. If x is normal with mean mu and variance sigma square, what will be the distribution of x bar? It's a normal mu comma sigma square by n or not? Yes. The same thing I have done. Correct. Same approach for y bar also. Okay. Okay, sir. Got it? Yeah. Now, so p value we have given, which is nothing but probability of rejecting H not under the, I mean, when H not is true, and when I am going to reject as uh, is true tail test, I will say pro, uh, mod of x bar minus y bar greater than some c, given that H not H not is mu a equal to mu of b. B. Yeah. And what is the C? C it's a mod of one point two minus one uh, point six. Yeah, point four. Are you getting uh, from you, where you are uh, getting the point? Point four. So basically, this yes, uh, mod of x bar minus y bar should be uh, why? Because x bar is given to us as one my uh, one point two and one point six, right? So it's a point four. Yes. Given that mu a equal to mu b. Yes. Now, what is the next next step? Is we have to convert into standard normal variable, right? Variable. So, what it will be? It will be mod of x bar minus y bar minus. Sorry, uh, sir. How do we take c? Sorry. Yeah, c is the critical value, and that's the based on this sample. Okay. So we have given information mod of x. Uh, we have given x bar as point one. Uh, not point one point two. Y bar is 1.6. Okay, so modulus of x bar minus y bar will be 1.2 modulus of 1.2 minus 1.6, which is 0.4. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, so next, it will be square root of uh, what is the variance? 0.36, right? Divided by n plus 0.25 divided by 50. Correct or not? Yes, sir. And uh, this would be greater than 0.4 minus mu a minus mu b, and divide by square root of 0.36 divided by n plus 0.25 divided by 50. Tell me under H naught, it should be given that mu a equal to mu b. So this quantity will be zero. Yes, sir. Zero. Yes, right? sir. Tell me what? What about this one? This will be g. Mod of g greater than yes, sir. Mod of point four greater than yeah. Four divided by uh, these things, correct? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Now tell me uh, if we have these things, uh, this mod of g. Let's uh, treat this as a uh, a. If this is a, can I write this uh, since it's a standard normal? So it's a zero. It will be minus a. It will be a. So probability g lesser equal to minus a will be equal to probability of g greater than a. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Due to symmetricity, right? If I will uh, split this mod sign, what I will get? I will get g greater than 0.4 divided by square root of 0.36 divided by n plus 0.25 divided by 50, or g should be less than minus 0.4 divided by square root of 0.36 divided by n plus 0.25 divided by 50. So far, so good? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if I will apply these things, uh, this concept, then uh, can you say I will get uh, two this times. two times of probability g less than minus uh, 0 0.4 square root of these things? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Because yes. I, I can yes, write this, I can write this quantity as uh, less than sign, right? And if you split this or sign, I will get two times. Okay. And this was 0 0.01. It will be 0 0.01 divided by 2, and it will be uh, Fg minus, minus 0.4 square root of 0.36 divided by n plus 0.25 divided by 50. Yes. Right? So it's the 0.01 uh, divided by 2. So it will be 0 0.005. 0 0 0.005. Can I write this Fg inverse 0 0.005? 0 0 yes. Which yes. is equal to Oh, it's given us 2.58. 2.58. Minus 2.58. Minus 2.58. Minus 2. 2. 2. So, so it's uh, nothing but minus 2.58 minus 0. 0.4 divided by square root of 0. 0.36 divided by n. Uh, this is the page number actually. So minus will minus sign will get cancelled out. So at the end from here onwards we'll get uh 2.58 divided by 0 0.4 equal to uh 1 by okay let me do it like that uh it will be square root of 0.36 divided by n plus 0.25 divided by 50 equal to min, uh, minus will get cancelled so i will get 0 0.4 divided by 2.58 right so far it's clear Yes. So this will be, let me calculate right hand side, it will be 0 0.4 divided by 2.58, it will be 0 0.155, right? Okay. So what can, uh, I can do, it? I can do, I can do square of this, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. And what is the square value? Anyone can tell me this one, square of this one? Sir, sir the answer does not come like this, sir, 0. Uh, I have, I have this is not an answer. This. Let no, 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 sir. 0.155. How this comes up? 0 0.4 divided by 2.58, right? Yes, sir. 2.58. Yeah, 0 0.155. It's coming out to be. 0 0.024. Okay, sir. Sir, I have done mistake here. Hmm? Done mistake. I think oh, some calculation mistakes, maybe. Yes, sir. Okay. Now it's uh, correct. What is the square of this? Actually, uh, so I have zero point zero two four zero two five. Okay, sir. I have divided by four upon two fifty eight. Then I will. I have to divide it by actually forty upon two fifty eight. Yes, yes. That's yes, that's yes my that's how... Okay, okay. They make sure, make sure. Don't get hurry. See, you have calculated. You can directly do point four divided that's by two point five. I just stuck on this question even more than half an hour. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So there is, yeah. Okay, so uh, where we were, uh, we had this point. Okay, so it will be, let me do this uh, 0 0.25 divided by 50. So it will be uh, 0 0.05, right? I think it's uh, some zero, zero, zero. question, but uh, don't worry. Okay, so it will be 0 0.36 divided by n. So it will be 0 0.024. Minus zero so point zero zero. Mainly solving for equation. So yeah, yeah, that's all. That, that the, not the to ninety. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing beyond that. So it will be zero point zero one nine, right? So here n will be uh, zero point three six divided by zero point zero one nine. So let me calculate it. Uh, it will be something 18.947. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 
since it's a number so i can take approximate as the 19 okay so is this answer yeah 19 is the here there is one doubt if huh? we are getting 18.1 should even though still... you can take the 90 because it's a, i'm talking about numbers right it's more than some 19 right so 18.1 is mean, uh, for 19 Okay. Okay. That's Suppose right. I'm saying in a room there are 18.2 people. Okay. So that that means I can say approximately 19, right? Or you can take as a it's approximately 18, but it's a it's a by if you are going mathematically, it's a more than 0.5, right? So I can yeah. say it's approximately 19. Correct? Clear? Is this clear? Any doubt? Okay. So okay, if I anybody? can clarify, uh, what he's yes. asking is, uh, does he always have to, I mean, round off to the upper bound, and that is true because you have to always round off to upper bound because then you are not falling under the critical value, right? So you always have to take even if it was eighteen point one, you have to go for mm -hmm. the nineteen, yeah, not eighteen. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. 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 Okay. Should we move to the next question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So next question says uh, waiting time in minutes. So of customers at a restaurant is exponentially distributed with unknown mean one by lambda. So it's if it's unknown mean one by lambda, that means what is the parameter? It's a lambda. Lambda, lambda. right? Because for exponential distribution, expected value is one by lambda. Yes. Waiting time for last five customers are. These are the sample values: fifteen, ten, five, twelve, and eight. So here, uh, question number eleven says uh, x is follow uh, x following exponential with parameter lambda. Then what will the uh, PDF? Lambda, lambda raised to minus lambda, lambda, x. lambda x. So far, okay, x will be greater than zero and lambda also, right? Now, and sample values are fifteen. Uh, Ten, five, twelve, eight. Correct. Now, so question: What is the question? Question: Find the maximum likelihood estimate of lambda. And I know what is the maximum likelihood estimate. I have to do the product of till five f x x i right. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Yes. So what what we have to do? We have to do lambda into e raised to the minus uh, lambda times of x one. Lambda times e raised to the minus lambda times of x two. Lambda power n into e raised to power. Correct or not? These things we have to do here. Yes, sir. Right. And what are the this x one, x two, x three, x x four, x five? These Samples. are nothing but this one. X small x one. This is small x two. This is small x three. This is small x four. This is small x five. Right. See, that's the likelihood observing our samples. Right. So it will be lambda raised to the power five. E raised to power minus lambda will be common, so I will get x one plus x two plus x three plus x four plus x five. Yes or no? Right. Yes, sir. Right. Lambda raised to power five. E raised to power minus lambda. And what is the summation of all the values? It will be twenty, thirty, fifty. Right. So we got lambda raised to power five. E raised to power minus fifty times lambda. This is L. What is next? Is I can take the log. So log of L will be log of lambda is for five plus log of e is for minus fifty times lambda. So it will be five log lambda, okay, and uh, minus fifty lambda. lambda. Because uh, you know log of e for x uh, with base e is nothing but x, right? Yeah. So it will be log l equal to. So we have to find out the estimate of lambda. Then for that I can do. I can estimate. Uh, I can differentiate with respect to lambda. lambda. It will be five by lambda minus fifty equal to zero. So five by lambda equal to fifty. That means lambda will be five by fifty. It's one by ten. So lambda Sir. cap. Yes. Zero point one zero. This is this should be the answer. Let me check. Yeah, zero point one zero. Yeah. 
this uh, pro, this uh, uh, maximum likelihood uh, estimate uh, for uh, each distribution will be given uh, in the uh, 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 as a note means as a, as a no no this this whole procedure you have to find uh, because there is, there is a uh, formula like n divided by summation of summation uh, xi no 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 xi. no 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 that's in general you have you to have compute the formula okay you have to find likelihood maybe okay but 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 again sir if we use the formula over here that summation x i right one to n if if we remember that so we can just uh yeah that's just good bound it to five samples so five by 50 it's again same Correct. answer i mean if, if we remember of if, course yeah yeah but uh, sometimes suppose okay if it's remembered that's the good thing that's a it it, it will save your time okay but suppose you don't know, then it's a good to go with the procedure, right? Simple. Yes, sir. Okay. Actually, there is a high chance if you're going to step by step, then uh, there will be a uh, high chance to be correct, right? If you remember, you are, you know, 100% sure, yeah, it's the n by summation xi for this, then go with that. There is uh, not any problem. Okay, you can directly do it. Will, by... will not be given as a note or no, 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 that means we have to write for every distribution and all. So it's uh, then wh what's the need? I mean, then you have to do only you have to put five by 50. Then what's the I mean, <laughs> that's not an exam, right? <laughs> Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Okay. Is this clear? Any Many doubt? times in the, in the previous sum, all those calculations are not useful. The the the, the almost fifty percent of the calculation is not uh, really useful for um, mm -hmm. understanding of fats too. It's basically the and we can make mistakes. Surely it is very very good chance of the, the previous question, the one this which uh, find of value of n. Yeah. Here, the, 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 you will not get the uh, percent is uh, equi solving for n, and don't there worry, we will don't not, really, you, yes. you will not gain get uh, any question, and we can lose the complete marks just just uh, if we make some uh, minor maybe the understanding is right, mm -hmm. we can completely lose all the marks uh, on this 50 percent of calculation. <laughs> what we do for solving for n, yeah, 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 that's uh, I agree uh, with you. Calculation true. mistake happens in exam. Uh, but uh, at least, at least more... if, if those numbers are uh, re, uh, like uh, easily calculated by mind instead of using calculator, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, good for us. yeah, yeah. See, you know, you have given the quiz two, right? Quiz one, quiz two, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, so I mean, what was the uh, level of the calculation? Was it okay or was it? Too much. Uh, it was something one by four, three by four, like better that. Than, right? better, than, better than previous uh, uh, terms. Yes, yeah, previous term. This okay. term is okay. The last yeah. two the terms. Same thing, uh, okay, okay. That's so why you giving stretch to this term also, right? Two times. Or uh, okay, let it be. That's another case. So you will get the. You will not get that much calculation during the examination. We will check just concept okay there will be calculation but you can do that's not like we'll do some 198 divided by 2047 something like that okay it's a uh, calculation will be doable no need to worry okay if uh, something some little bit hardness is there then you can use your scientific calculator, but not that much uh, the thing which you have done here so but the thing is that uh, we have given this question so that you can uh, get an idea how you can approach in such scenario okay clear or in your yes sir thank you clear? thank you yeah yeah thank you. thank you so let me go to the next question so question says find the posterior mean of lambda using the exponential 1 by 10 prior okay so what is the prior distribution of uh, lambda prior distribution of lambda say is the exponential mm -hmm. 1 by 10. Ten. Okay, if it's exponential one by ten, what what will be the PDF? It will be one by ten. E raised to what? Minus lambda by ten. Lambda Sorry. by ten. Minus one by ten. See, it's 
even though pdf is lambda into e to the power minus lambda x if x is following exponential with lambda right mm -hmm. here instead of x we have random variable as a lambda lambda itself is at the place yeah at lambda itself a random variable and in the place of lambda we have 1 by 10 just a replacement right is this clear yes sir okay so that means the f of f lambda lambda something i can say now what is the posterior so posterior is proportional to Likely. likelihood Likely. time prior Likely. right and what uh, we got the likelihood we had the likelihood uh, likelihood this one lambda is 5 lambda power 5 this lambda is the likelihood lambda is power 5 e raised to yes, minus 50 lambda right so lambda is power 5 e raised to minus 50 lambda and what is the prior prior is 1 by 10 into e raised to minus lambda by 10 right and since 1 by 10 is a constant and uh, we are using the proportionalities and i can ignore this right so it will be lambda is for 5 e raised for minus 50 uh yes. lambda minus lambda by 10 50 so can i take lambda is for 5 and e raised for minus lambda as a common so yeah. it will be 50 plus 1 by 10 50.1. Yeah, 50.1 or yeah, it's the uh, 50.1. Correct. So far, so good. Yes. What is the posterior distribution now? Gamma. Gamma. Gamma six comma fifty point one. Okay. So it's a uh, posterior distribution is nothing but here. So see, PDF of gamma will be provided to you to identify whether it's a gamma, beta, and all, right? If you remember the PDF of gamma, then it's good to uh, you. I mean, good for you. I mean, it will be time saver for you. Okay? So it's a gamma distribution with parameter alpha, beta, and what is the alpha? Alpha is six. 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 Because why it's a five? So uh, it will be six minus one, actually, right? And fifty my fifty point one. And what is the posterior mean for gamma distribution? Alpha, alpha by beta. Alpha, alpha by beta. Alpha by beta. So it will be six divided by fifty point one. So let me calculate. It will be zero point point one one two nine. So it will be approximately point one two. So yeah, point one two inside the array. Okay. Is this clear or any doubt? Uh, so. Yes. Just above in uh, finding the posterior, hmm? yeah here. Uh, so you remove one by ten. That I understand. But did you also remove one by ten in the power of e? No, no. It's uh, I have taken here, right? These things and these things I have merged. I can merge, right? If I have e raised for two into e raised for three, I can write down e raised for five because base is same. Yeah, got it. No, oh, one by ten. He is asking one by ten is removed because it's a constant. Yeah, this so one by ten. The proportionality. Okay, this, sign. yeah, yeah. Because we are not using uh, equality sign, right? We are using the proportionality sign, so it, uh, I can ignore or it's uh, not ignore. Uh, it's uh, something uh, due to we are using this proportional sign. Yeah. Yeah, my doubt was that I was seeing e to the power minus lambda fifty point one. So I thought, why have you multiplied fifty and one? Then I uh, understood that it was fifty point decimal one only. Oh, uh, it's a, it's a nothing but simple mathematics. Fifty yeah, plus yeah, point yeah. one. Got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir, uh, in prior, can we keep uh, uh, lambda in place of one by ten? Lambda in place of one by ten? No, why? Because one by ten is given to us directly, right? See, prior is so about lam lambda, and lam lambda is previously calculated as one by ten, right? So no, 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 that no. That's a different well. question. Here we have calculated estimate of lambda with the maximum likelihood, right? With the maximum likelihood estimate uh, method. now i'm saying lambda is a parameter and i have some prior information that lambda is exponential with 1 by 10 so here we are considering lambda as a random variable okay so we we are not going to use this 1 by 
Is this clear? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So next question is uh, x is a continuous random variable given to us with PDF six x one minus x. Uh, okay. So we have to determine the CDF of x. Okay. So it's I think simple calculation, right? So okay, Great. if range is okay, before going, tell me if range is zero to one, right? Uh, question number thirteen, right? So PDF is given to us six x one minus x, range is zero to one. If I'm talking about, tell me uh, before zero, less than zero. It would be zero. It will be zero. Correct. If I'm talking about f x, f of zero, it will be zero, correct? Yes, sir. Right. And x is greater or equal to one? One it will be one. one. So one. what we have to do? We have to find from zero to one. one. And how I can do? In I know f x is nothing Eight. but probability x is less or equal to x, right or not? And what is the this? What is the lower limit? Lower limit is zero. Zero to, to x. X. And we have to integrate this six x one minus x dx. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So six will be outside. It will be zero to x x minus x square dx. So it will be six. It will be zero uh, to x x dx minus zero to x x square dx. Correct. It will be six. It will be x square by two. Uh, zero to x minus x cube by three. Zero to x, right? So six. It will be uh, x square by two and uh, minus. If you put zero, zero will be zero by two means zero. Minus x cube divided by three. Correct or not? So it will be three yes, x correct. square minus two x cube divided by six and this six. So both six will get cancel out. So it will be three x square. X minus two x cube. Okay. So let me see. Is there any option? Three x square. So square. they have actually taken okay, okay. the x square okay. common in the answer. Okay, okay. So I can take x square as a common minus two x, right? So f x will be this thing. So for zero less than one. So x square three minus two x. So x square. Okay, got it. I think it's a simple, just a minor, uh, simple integration, right? Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, yes, sir. A lot of questions are from maximum likelihood and all. Okay. Okay, no problem. I think uh, now you are trained in maximum likelihood method of moment, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so a continuous random variable and density function is one by two sigma e raised to the power minus. Uh, Mod of x by y sigma. Okay, let me restart from the question number fourteen. So f x x is one by two sigma. Uh, e x uh, this exponential means e raised to the power minus x by sigma. What is the range? Range is minus infinity to infinity. Okay, and uh, sample ten samples are given. To us from which has been taken from this distribution and find the maximum likelihood estimate of sigma. Now, so four minus two two. Okay, samples are four minus two two. Uh, one minus four five minus one. One minus four five minus one. Two three six. Right. These are the samples from X. Now we have to find the maximum likelihood. So it says we have to do L equal to product of I is equal to one to ten, right? Because we have given ten samples. Correct. So it will be product of I equal to one to ten, one by two sigma exponential of minus X I a uh, mod of my uh, X I divided by sigma. Correct. Now. Can I do one by two sigma raised to power ten? Because we are multiplying these things up to ten times, right? Yes, Into uh, e raised to power, or I can say exponential of uh, minus 
mod of x1 by sigma into exponential of minus mod of x2 by sigma and so on exponential of minus mod of x10 by sigma yes or no yes sir correct yes, sir no uh, it will be 1 upon 2 sigma raised power 10 into e, uh, e raised power or i can take uh, tell me minus 1 by sigma i can take common right so it will be mod of x1 plus mod of x2 plus so on plus mod of x10 right so what are these yes, sir. mod of x1 plus mod of x2 we have to add all the values but here is a minus but we are no. using the mod sign that means uh, it will be positive right yes, so sir. it will be 4 to 6 to 8 1 uh, 9 13, 13 uh, 18 19 21 30 right yes sir. so it will be 1 upon 2 sigma raised to power 10 into e raised to power minus 1 by sigma 30 right is this clear yes sir. yes sir. so what is the next step i have to take the log right mm -hmm. so log l will be uh log of we can separate that 1 by 2 raised to 10 right? So let yeah we let's see. so these are no, uh, nothing but uh, values of the addition of all sample values okay yeah so let's separate it it will be l equal to one upon two raised power ten into one by sigma raised power ten into e raised power minus thirty by sigma right so now we can take the log it will be easier for now log l will be uh minus log of not minus log of 2 raised to power minus 10 yes or no yes, plus log of sigma raised to power minus 10 plus log of e raised to power minus 30 by sigma this step is clear or not see these things now it's okay Sir, so sir. it will be uh, sorry, sir. Okay, so it will be minus 10 log sigma minus 30 by sigma, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so next step we have to find the estimate for the sigma. Then what we have to do? We have to estimate with respect to uh, not estimate, we have to differentiate with respect to sigma. This is the constant, it will be 0 minus 10 by sigma minus so is so it's the 30 by sigma what is the inverse uh what is the differentiation of 1 by x, one so by x uh, minus 1 by uh, x minus square. 1 by x square. Totally minus 1 by sigma square yeah. now i have to equate yes, with uh, 0 right so yes, it will be uh okay so it will be sigma is equal 30 by sigma is square sigma. equal to 10 by sigma right sigma. yeah so sigma will be uh, 30, 30 by three. 10, 3, right? 3. So, sigma cap will be 3. Is it answer? Yes. So, yeah, 3 is the answer. Okay. Look for this is clear. Use the equation like sigma xi by n, like directly, like we say, it's a lot of time. Uh, sorry, sir. can you repeat? Okay, you are using that. Uh, Sigma x i by n like one by alpha d raised to no, minus. How n. how how because it's not direct exponential, right? Yeah, but we done this in the problems like it was in one of the assembly problems, so it was like came out that way like one by theta and we raised to x by theta and four. Okay. Yes. But I don't. Um, okay, I need to check that one. Okay. By the way, this is clear to everyone. Is it clear or in doubt? Yes, no, no sir. Clear for everyone? Clear, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's come to the next question. I think how many questions are in many? Two. Okay. So question number 15 says uh, I mean, first, this is a, some conference and some information we have provided. So, suppose the number of 
पीपल इन अ वीक ओके बिकॉज ऑफ डेडली डिजीज इन द इन अ कंट्री हैज अ पॉइजन लैमडा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओके सो सम इन्फॉर्मेशन इज यू हैव गिवन इट्स अ पॉइजन लैमडा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अ रिसर्चर वॉन्ट्स टू एस्टिमेट लैमडा फ्रॉम ए स्टडीज इन अदर कंट्रीज प्रायर मीन शुड बी थ्री ओके एंड द प्रायर स्टैंडर्डिवेशन वन he decides to use the gamma alpha comma beta prior that matches his prior mean and standard deviation that means uh, 3 is the mean of the this gamma distribution yes sir and 1 is the standard deviation of the answer where is the variance of a yes sir your voice is breaking जस्ट मिनट प्लीज uh hello can you hear me now yes sir yes sir yeah so okay so that samples has been taken from the pin distribution right so i am sharing the screen uh yeah good okay uh, network problem Uh, now, can you hear me? And is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Is is my voice clear, right? Just let me know if there is there any break in between. Okay. Now, see these samples are uh, recorded from the poison distribution. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Before that, we have to. Alpha and beta. Okay, let's let's do it. So it says that lambda follow gamma, right? So question number fifteen says that lambda, which is the prior, is following gamma distribution with parameter alpha and beta, right? Now tell me if it's alpha and beta and mean is what is the mean? Three. Mean is three. Uh, alpha by beta. Standard deviation is okay. one. so from in the case of alpha, gamma distribution is alpha by beta which is 3 and standard deviation is 1 that means variance is also 1 and what is the variance variance is alpha by beta is square alpha by beta square right now so i can find out here alpha will be 3 beta and i can replace this 3 beta uh, in this equation right so here uh, let me draw a line it will be alpha equal to beta square right so alpha is the 3 beta so 3 beta will be beta square beta it will get cancel out so beta is the 3 correct so beta is 3 alpha will be 9 yes or no yes yes sir yes, yes sir uh, yes sir i think this option d is correct now we got the value of alpha and beta so next question says find the posterior mean so to find the posterior mean of uh, lambda now i can say This lambda, which is following gamma distribution, with parameter nine comma three. 
yes or yes, no sir. and what is about yes. your random samples that is following poison yes, sir if it's poison yes, then what is the pma pma is the e raised power minus lambda lambda is for x divided by x factorial yes or no yes. now yes let me uh, tell me to find the posterior it's a proportional to likelihood times prior correct and how many samples we have given 5 10 10 sorry 10 sorry. okay before going to 10 let's let's do it, do it in general okay if it's likelihood if it's uh, poisson distribution so what will be e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x1 divided by x1 factorial into e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x2 x2 factorial up to e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to xn divided by xn factorial right and what is the prior prior is the uh, gamma distribution so it will be lambda raised to alpha minus 1 and e raised to minus beta lambda i'm taking in general so far so good yes sir right so here we are using the proportional sign then all these constant will be i'm going to ignore so tell me it will be e raised to minus n lambda see this things this things up to this things yes or no yes sir right yes and what about this lambda is for x1 lambda is for x2 lambda is for xn so it will be lambda is for x1 plus x2 so plus I'm up to all x right into yeah, okay. this is the lambda is for alpha minus 1 into e is for minus beta lambda correct yes sir now can i add these things so it will be uh, proportional to e raised power uh, let's uh, let's take it lambda lambda is for alpha plus x1 plus x2 plus so on xn minus 1 yes sir and e raised power if i will take lambda as a common so it will be minus beta plus n lambda yes clear this is the gamma yes and now what is this this is the this is the gamma. posterior so now posterior distribution is nothing but gamma distribution with parameter at the place of alpha i have alpha plus x1 plus x2 plus xn comma beta plus n right yes or no yes sir yes sir now tell me what is the these all all values alpha is we got 9 plus x1 plus x2 plus xn means we have to add all these value 3 plus 5 plus 7 Three plus five plus seven plus up to uh, four. Can you just yeah? repeat that last thing? Beta plus n. Yeah, beta plus. This is the parameter beta, right? See, what is the gamma uh, gamma distribution? If I'm saying x is following uh, gamma distribution alpha comma beta, so it it will be proportional to PDF will be proportional to x is for alpha minus one, e is for minus beta x. Okay. So this is the beta parameter, and this is the alpha one, right? Okay. So here, got it? So it will be three plus ten, right? Right. So it will be. Uh, so fifty-five comma thirteen. Fifty-five comma thirteen. Thirteen. So now this is the distribution. What is the posterior mean? It's alpha 55. by beta. Alpha so by fifty-five by thirteen. Fifty-five by thirteen. So it will be thirteen four point something, right? Four point two three. So four point two three. So is this answer? So four point two three. Yeah, is inside the range. Is this clear? Any doubt? Clear for everyone? Yes, clear. Yeah. That's clear. Okay. Anything else? Uh, sir, can you just show me yeah. that again? Uh, this one. Yes. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Any doubt? Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Oh. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else? 
So there was no question from week twelve, right? In this, yeah, yeah. In this mock, there is not any question. I think there was one. And sir, even one even a single question from CLT or week law of large numbers in the mock. It was purely week eleven based. I mean, week eight to eleven. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah. This mock was, I mean, purely intended to this uh, from machine like the method and so that you get a more. Okay, sir, your voice breaking. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so for which uh, CLT and all, you can see the mock for quiz two and all. Hello, my voice is clear, right? Yeah, sir, it is now. Okay. So this mock was uh, more oriented to to the questions from nine to twelve actually. One or two questions from uh, previous one actually. From week twelve, yeah, I think Radha is correct. Uh, that two tail G test, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Is there anything else or any more clues for the final exams? Sorry. Any more clues for the final exam? Ah, uh, can you repeat? I did not get your statement. Said, any more clues for the final exam paper? Uh, no, no, not any clues. Just to go with the things. Exam will be easy. Don't worry. Exam will be easy. You will, you guys, you you guys will they do within a time actually, and that will be easy. Okay. From uh, week twelve, twelve also there is no need to worry about it. Okay. And uh, there will be, I mean, not that much calculation. Just you have to be clear with the concept. That's all. In which scenario you can use which test, where you can use the I mean, be clear with like at least at most kind of things. Like the one thing that uh, if p value is suppose p value is zero point zero four, and I'm rejecting. Null hypothesis. So for 0.05, I will also reject something like that. Okay, so just some you know, minor concept you have to clear with. That's all. Okay. Okay. Only thing I can say say to all of you, all the very best for your exam. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, hoping. Uh, I'm hoping. Thank you, thank you, you very guys. much, sir. Uh, this is, I think, last session sir, throughout the you? term. Uh, yes. Yeah. uh if we have given the alpha value as 0.05 or mm -hmm. 0.01 i have mm -hmm. seen somewhere in the activity question mm -hmm. so it was asking for whether you will accept or reject the hypothesis in which I, activity is it i think it's 11.1 uh, or something means right after that lecture uh please give me a minute ha yeah please please go yes sir and you have raised your hand yes sir i have a question actually i mean uh, mm -hmm. i can share the pdf link with you otherwise i have to uh, dictate the question so like okay if, just I mean, uh, take that particular you... question and uh, you can ask with me okay no problem ha okay sir okay yeah okay yes, sir, sir, sir so the question is yes Yes, sir. I also okay, have okay. a topic in previous Fine. year uh, term. I have mm -hmm. shared. Uh, can I share my uh, discourse uh, link? Yeah, sure. Okay, discourse okay. on the discourse you have asked. Yeah, okay, I have posted it. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, we'll check. We'll check because. Uh, I'll share my your uh, discourse link. Okay, just share it, or uh, you can tag to me there itself. Okay, me or Sri Kant anybody will take care. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should I go with my question? So, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Please go. Ha. Huh, so, sir, the question says, uh, if two newborn babies are selected randomly. Oh no no no! Not this question. Sorry. It, it, I have to give you the prior things actually. Okay. So the weights in kilograms of newborn babies is new is normally distributed with mean mu, and uh, in kgs and standard deviation is mm -hmm. one. It is observed that sixty percent mm -hmm. of the newborn babies have weight greater than three kilos. Mm -hmm. So, sir, okay. the first part we have to calculate for mu. So, the mu I have calculated, but the second part I am not getting. How to just approach the question mm -hmm. or how to think about? I it. also have the same doubt. Ah, so, 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 sir, the next. So, sir, the next part goes like this: If two newborn babies are selected mm -hmm. randomly, find the probability mm -hmm. that at least one of the selected babies. Has weight less than two kilos. 
uh, okay okay uh, can you write here or uh, send it to me let me share the question sir yeah yeah sure, sure. yeah just just share with uh, share the question with me okay i will look into no problem so it's from pyq right it's from last time i think there was a pyq session taken by our t right it's from i mean it's from 2021 actually i guess i'm i'm not okay, sure no problem, exactly no problem. which that's, year but it's okay okay that's that's not a problem that's not a case okay i will check okay okay meanwhile uh, anybody anything else if you want to discuss in general so we can i have shared sir okay so sure. weights in kilogram of new born babies is normally distributed it mean uh, some slash kg and the standard deviation it is observed that 20% of newborn baby have weight greater than 4 kg okay what is the question i mean probability we have to find the mu and uh, so like sub question okay okay mean mu okay one is of 60% of uh, newborn baby have weight greater than this. so you can directly do probability of x greater than 3 is equal to 0.6 right some some mu calculation is fine i actually mistakenly the, uh, use the parameter as i'm actually posting the second part which is the main problem okay so sir this the thing i have posted right now this is the sub question of that okay so this is exactly where i cannot think of anything how to approach it or something so you can do you can define the two random variable okay weight of uh, let's say one newborn baby and weight of another uh, uh, newborn baby okay and it's saying uh, at least one of the selected baby has less than two so you, you can say x1 less than two comma x2 greater than two plus probability x1 uh, greater than two comma x2 greater than two plus both are greater than two Are you getting? Ah, okay, least... okay. So, ha, 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 ha. Get, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. So, it either one or both, something like that. Or both, right? Cases. Something like that. You can try. Ah. Try it out. If it's, uh, if you're get, even though getting any difficulty or not getting answer, do let me know. I will check. We will check it. Okay. But sir, but sir, again, I mean, after making the cases, I mean, let's mm -hmm. say I've made the cases. Let's say X and Y. Mm -hmm. So, sir, after that, it's it's getting a joint thing actually. it's getting a joint thing so that's why sir the confusion arises more and more i mean the let's say the mu i've, I've calculated 3.20 or 3.25 let's say something mm -hmm. some random value so after no. that sir it, it becomes a joint i mean let's say x great uh, x is less than 1 and no, y no. is greater okay, than okay, 1 no no okay 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 something okay okay like i think you can do like this suppose what would what would be the distribution of uh, x plus y it it will be again some something normal ha ha yes or x minus y something like that ha 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 correct so probability of at ha. least one of the selected baby has weight less than 2 that means what can I, can we can you thought about mod of x uh, uh, i mean is a less than 2 okay so state a uh, one second probability that at least one of the selected babies has uh, less than if i'm take if you are taking mod of x minus y Less than two, it will be x minus y. No, 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 not that. Uh, 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 okay, okay, sir. Just uh, give me some time. I will check it. Okay, I will solve it. Okay, okay. We'll okay sir. Okay. Yeah, just remind me okay. on this course. Okay, I will. Okay, I will sir. do. I will think something, and I will solve this question. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay sir. Uh, okay. Okay. Is there buddy? Uh, anybody? Anything else? Oh, sir, sir the same thing out here, PDF? right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I will share this PDF. I will share with the team. Uh, most probably by tomorrow morning they will upload it. Okay. I will ask to them 
to do it now but uh, it's already about 8 so something so sir uh, we can find it on the portal right yeah you can find on the portal under the section uh, live session notes okay we'll okay, upload sir. this pdf under the section live session notes okay okay yeah yeah okay is there cool, thank you sir else? yeah thank you so much first of all and uh, all the very best we don't know whether we will meet or not in the next is what this is the last hopefully topic. not yeah so, so you, hope will not yeah. be uh, taking any class in the diploma, diploma level sir uh not in diploma currently uh, i'm yeah. taking uh, some class in degree level that's called linear oh. statistical model and so that linear statistical model basically runs in not every term uh, like one term break then it will run last term uh, last to last term in jan term uh, linear statistical model was run uh, it was run by professor sivathra it was first time actually and uh, now there was a break for may term now it will again run this term okay so but this term i am not going to teach that last to last term i taught that linear statistical model uh, most probably there is one course in degree level that will be that's called uh, statistical computing so it's also an uh, also an elective subject in degree level but yeah that's not diploma level uh, currently i'm not taking uh, now in foundational and that maybe in okay, future sir. i don't Thank know so maybe some mlf and all but i don't know whether okay. i will do that yeah yeah okay. uh thank you okay sir. hope you Please enjoyed this you. course uh, and you, you have learned something from our side and yeah, yeah. and uh, sometimes we make some kind of mistake also it happens with the human but yeah that's okay but yeah. so all the very best okay Uh, thank you sir 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 thanks a lot yeah thanks a lot thanks thanks bye everyone then thank you very much thank you so much thank you so okay good yeah. night sir good night good night everyone bye good night sir and uh, uh, after the end term on the discourse we'll share some feedback form okay so please feel that it will be helpful for us to uh, for us or uh, for the course as well for your future upcoming juniors and all okay so okay okay thanks thank you everyone uh, one yeah, second yeah. Uh, before uh, ending i have shared the link which i have posted the question in the discourse so kindly yeah, yeah i i have taken yeah okay uh, thank you sir. so sir just uh, tag me for the same question i will check i will check the solution okay ah, okay sir okay sir i will yeah. do it no i'll do it yeah yeah sure. and sir like oh, uh, one more God. one more thing sir like the extractivity mm -hmm. thing which i had it's not mm -hmm. been resolved yet i have mailed you uh, for the i think uh, if i'm not wrong something third activity for you right Oh uh, yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. What was problem? Can you? Oh, sir. Like what happened is I actually submitted it, but it didn't get submit. So I didn't have the screenshot of the portal that mm -hmm. I did submit. So I did take a, a screenshot from the Google sites that I have done the project before the deadline. Okay. And I have shared that screenshot. Like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will check it. Uh, no problem. I will convey this message to the. support team uh, okay. they will look into it what, what is the what we can do or not okay, okay. but sir considering we can do the then we'll look into it uh, okay so today is the last session so okay don't worry don't worry we'll check we'll check see before the final marks if see if we can do something we'll do it. don't worry okay it's not like we are not doing if uh, it's not under the criteria or rules so they will not do but if it's uh, something like that it's a uh, doable then we'll do don't worry okay we are we will take care of that yes radha please okay. words so, uh, last time last uh, session you yeah, just, mentioned that yeah, extra just, extra activity mm -hmm. marks there are some discrepancies we will look into it and we will uh, evaluate yeah, and give you more of these five uh, extra activity five actually uh, no actually for me mm. sir uh, earlier i told you also that uh, Uh, week three, uh, week three. You said uh, the dashboard will not show it, but it is already rectified. And week okay two, for you, uh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah there was and, a problem, yeah, 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 yeah. And for week two, in fact, after the quiz two results came, the week two marks reset to zero. Though my uh, marks inside it is showing as hundred, but in the dashboard it is showing as zero. So will you be considering the dashboard marks or? 
can you can you resend me that mail yeah sure oh. i'll resend you sir yeah i'll yeah. take a screenshot okay. of uh, the dashboard as well as the marks that is shown inside and mm -hmm. given by the peer review they are not matching so, okay okay we'll we'll, we'll check we'll check we'll check what is i'll it. i'll send the mail sir hmm? okay okay we'll check okay uh just just the real time with that Thank okay you, yeah, yeah 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 amit kumar please sir if possible uh, you can share this link uh, uh, in chat box which link uh, sir uh, pdf pdf okay let me try it uh, last time i tried but uh, not sir otherwise no problem sir okay let me Okay, just a minute, just a second. Yeah, sir, no problem. I'm not sure why it's not able to copy because it's not a link actually. It's a offline one. Okay, so okay, uh, don't worry. We'll upload on the portal. Okay, okay? under okay. the live session notes. Okay. Okay, okay sir, no problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Bye, bye. All the very best for your exam. Just uh, do your best. Okay, I'm. I will hope some good results. Okay, thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, sir. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah.